Hey there guys and gals, if is F1 Backwards here, back with another achievement guide and this one is a very short video, but a very useful one. We are playing Wenjia and there's one, maybe two if it works for you, which it didn't for me, uh, achievements that we will be getting on the very, very cheap. Beyond Death and potentially Seize Every Minute, Second and Hour and they are for completing the entire game with less than five deaths and speed running it in less than an hour. Now the game itself is actually very easy but there is no doubt that you will die way more than five times as you have to perfect a lot of it and you don't have that much room for error. So this is where this video and this amazing trick will come into play. So at the minute then you see me doing the last level of the game so let's just smash through this for a second. So this then is where we will be getting the very cheap achievement or the not wanting to pull your hair out um, achievement. Now it doesn't actually matter how many times you've died throughout the game or what difficulty it's on, just play the game as you absolutely normally would until you see the outside and the mouth of the cave. So then, this is the point right here. Now, what we will be doing is not manually quitting the game, but deleting our save anyway, as it doesn't actually uh, force close the game, which is good. So go outside, and there is a point that if you go too far, the game will end and you will miss your opportunity. So stop then just in front of the green shrubbery, or just stand where I stand. Uh, right, yeah, right here, just in front of this green shrubbery. And you see, just to your right in the foreground, there's a few rocks bunched together with some shrub on it. So if you hit that, it's basically game over. So, um, press your guide button, go down to Wenja, and then manage game. Again, do not quit out, just manage the game. Go over to your save data, go down to your gamer tag, and then delete saved data. And what you'll need to do then is delete everywhere. Make sure that it is everywhere. Make sure that you've got no save file at all. As long as it's empty, then you should actually be good to go. Uh, you can keep checking it if you want. Obviously, it's worth double checking, but as long as it's empty, you are very good to go. So as soon as you hit the B button, again, it doesn't actually automatically force close the game. So you've got no save data. So now it thinks you've gone through the entire game with no deaths. So that's it, it is literally as easy as that, but I tell you what, finding out this trick definitely does save you one, about a million percent of absolute frustration of broken controllers. Um, now the other achievement, which is for speed running the game in under an hour, personally, it didn't unlock for me, um, but there are other people who it has unlocked for, so hopefully it unlocked for you. If not, the game is very easy enough to just blast straight through anyway. Um, there's not really that many difficult bits to do. And the achievement then will unlock here. And 
Christ almighty, wasn't that a relief when it popped up. I actually thought I'd messed it up, but... So that's, yeah, that is literally all it is to it, you guys. Um, very, very simple, and I tell you what, like I said, it saves a lot of frustration. So, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching, guys and gals. Hope it has helped. If it has, remember, of course, always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be doing a ton of videos. All good stuff coming up. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.